usually just see the tornadoes and stuff that we film when we're out driving. But a lot of people have been asking me like, how do you track these things? What do you use? Where's your radar? Come on, I'll show you. This is my 2008 Nissan Xterra. If you notice around the outside of it, it's wrapped up in Linex material. This kind of helps prevent any hail damage or any small debris damage, although it's not hail proof by any means. I took some larger stones up inside my hood that did leave a dent. There is metal under there after all. On the glass, it's covered with a material called Clearplex, and it's kind of like the screensaver on your phone. It just helps stop any you know impacts from hailstones and things like that. I haven't really been able to test it, but I hope not to. But glass is expensive. No one likes to pay for that. Let's move on to the radar. This is Gibson Ridge 3. It's the same software the National Weather Service uses in all their forecast offices, although I have it mobily and I can see all this data using a cell phone booster and mobile Wi-Fi from Verizon. Um, on the left side here, that's my reflectivity window. It just basically shows storm structures or general direction as indicated by the storm tracks. Um, it's all integrated in with Google Earth. On the right side is the velocity window. This is important for detecting tornadoes out there. Red colors indicates energy going away from the radar. Green is in energy going towards. So if those two colors tighten up and brighten up, you can be sure there's probably something trying to spit a tornado right there. Another really important part of this radar system is I have it integrated with GPS. That way I can see my exact location in relation to the storm so I can make navigation decisions. Probably the one really important part of this is the ability to report. Aside from calling 911, I have an app on here called Spotter Network. This is integrated with my GPS and it allows me to submit a report so the National Weather Service can see what I'm seeing, where I'm seeing it, and also it corresponds with my little GPS dot out in the field. So it's a very quick and easy way to make reports without having to fumble through phone numbers and, and have drop calls and things like that. Moving on to my navigation. I use Google Maps when I'm out in the field. This helps me be able to drop a pin at any place really anywhere as it relates to the storm so if I want to get in a certain position around the storm I can just by dropping a pin and give me directions and there I'm off real easy a lot of the shots you see are uh, mounted on this camera mount I have here in the dash and it's kind of nice to be able to steer my camera at whatever I'm pointing at in a good 120 140 degree pan a lot of times I prefer to get out of the car though and get some actual shots out of the field. And of course, every chaser has his GoPro up in the dash. I had to point it this way for some recent stuff. Sometimes I'll put it out there to get kind of a, a secondary view. Well, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. Make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit that like button. Feel free to share this anywhere and stay tuned until next time. There's plenty more storm floods coming. All right. <laughs>